Hello, in this video I will show you an Android application where you open an activity by an alarm. So this is now what my smartphone, what you see there. And in my smartphone I have this little app. There it is. Um, wait. Look for it. Here it is. And it's quite simple app. A simple app when I push the alarm button wake up button then there will come after five seconds the alarm now when I close it uh, when I close everything shit now I closed unfortunately my app uh, my uh, remote from team view or the uh, the view so what we do now i will close now the camera because we don't need it the camera um and we go back to the screen in front now we have our app and in my app when i take um, this one and i close the and move it <coughs> when I close it then and I'm in the start screen then it should also open after five seconds and now we do is something more now when I open the app send an alarm and now I push the uh, screen off then you see the alarm comes uh, this is not vi not visible um, inside when you unlock it then you will see this one uh, in my smartphone it's different in my smartphone I can see uh, the lock screen so uh, I see this red this one in the uh, in the lock screen so this is uh, beautiful and the application I will explain you now the application and you will find the code on my website so uh, I leave it there and the link will be below the uh, my <coughs> excuse me <coughs> In corona times uh, um, it's difficult so what we what do we have here okay we have here the main activity in the main activity we have as always um, here this is the creation of the set the initialization of the uh, of the main activity main activity dot Java then I have a button and inside the button I say okay um, I need following stuff I need um, I create an intent with an alarm receiver so this is the alarm receiver on the left top and I say new intent from this context this is my main activity that's the context I need an uh, I will create the alarm receiver so that it listens and then I say post this uh, by a pending in intent an intent is always intention what the the stuff should do it's a packaging so I say okay I create a pending intent uh, and inside there I, I push it to the as a global hook to the uh, get broadcast and inside there there's the this alarm receiver which I've created there so we take this one drop it into something which calls the broadcaster and inside the broadcaster this is the alarm receiver this listens and the listener uh, will is now in the system then we say we create an alarm this alarm we say this from this side we want the get system service uh, alarm service give me the alarm service 
And inside to the alarm service, we set a new wake up. This is create a new wake up alarm. Uh, this is our uh, and the this is the time and the time plus two seconds. So this is the current time, and we take we add two two thousand uh, milliseconds. And inside we pack this one. Now, what is inside the alarm receiver? Inside the alarm receiver, there is simply one stuff. It's it is uh, create an alarm intent, or um, it's inside the alarm receiver. This extends the broadcast receiver, so it comes from the global hook. <coughs> Whatever in the system happens, <coughs> then whenever an alarm happens then we get the intent from the system and the context and then we say uh, create an alarm intent and from from this context from the alarm receiver uh, look for the wake up alarm uh, activity class so this is this one and then you say um, start the activity and we have to add a flag which is called uh, in this intent should have the flag activity new new task so uh, it has to be a separate task that's why we have it when when the system is uh, it's not um, the new task is not uh, when the application is only open so this is simply the activity without the application and then we have uh, so this is our the alarm receiver then we have the the wake up activity so this is the the activity uh, better to see in here this is this uh, red sheet where nothing else is in there then it's only the alarm and inside the alarm the code behind is this one and this one says okay normally it's simply open but we say okay we want it over the lock screen so this one this stuff is for the lock screen so when the lock locks the system is locked then we want it uh, to be open we want to open it above the lock screen that's all, that's all what is this stuff does and it works fine and uh, and now we have finally the android manifest and inside the manifest we need this one the receiver uh, you have to register a receiver which is inside this code inside the receiver alarm receiver and <coughs> there's the alarm receiver alarm receiver and then this is with a with a point this one uh, yeah point alarm receiver and then we have the activity that's the main activity and inside the this uh, activity which is will be opened inside this one we have to set show on lock screen show when locked even if when it's locked set this one to true turn the screen on if this uh, the screen is off then it should be on switch to on <clears throat> you set this one and additionally you said that my parent activity is the main activity so we can set this by a um, by a builder but nothing happens if it's uh, if you don't do that so this is all what we need there and above there we have some usings using permission so this is when you install your application there comes always uh, allow the permission to to do something so the alarm always have to uh, wake lock lock on and it has to be a system alarm so uh, and you have to disable the key guard so since it, when it's locked just and that's it and i'm not sure if, uh, foreground service uh, i'm not sure if this the the rest one is uh, necessary so what you see there is this is my application and inside the application to show you once again um, i may start this one goes back i open it and 
even if I close it, it pops up. Swoop, it pops up. It pops up uh, above. This one also goes above the lock screen and even if the application is not uh, open. You will find the code here in my uh, website, CodeDoku, and the link will be below the uh, below the video. And I hope you enjoyed it and like take a thumb on my or subscribe me.